Hello, I'm Erwin Rothenberg, and today we will discuss the importance of being proficient in proficiency testing. Proficiency testing is an important part of any laboratory QA program. It is an external assessment of staff performance by comparing your laboratory's test results with other laboratories using the same instruments or kits. Once you receive specimens from your PT provider, you must follow the same procedures for the storage and handling of these specimens that you would for any patient specimen received by your laboratory. In effect, think of PT specimens simply as additional patient specimens and treat these accordingly. This rule applies through all phases of testing, pre-analytical, analytical, and post-analytical. True, you are not drawing or collecting these specimens directly from the patient, but receiving them is only one step removed. All staff who normally perform this testing, even if only occasionally, should participate at some point during the year. These specimens should be treated in exactly the same manner as patient specimens. That is, if your routine is to treat the specimen once on your instrument or with your kit reagents, then the same holds true for all PT specimens. If, on the other hand, you would rerun abnormal results to verify the efficacy of the result, then by all means do so for your PT specimen as well. Do not have several staff run these specimens and pull the results before reporting them. This would be treating these specimens in a special manner and in violation of PT requirements. It is a good idea to save leftover samples when possible, so if you need to recheck your results, after your results have been graded, of course, you will be able to do so easily. Remember, never, never share your results with another laboratory, even a sister laboratory until your results have been sent and the official window of time for accepting specimen results by the provider has closed. Now, record keeping and documentation are of high importance. Your files should include the original instrument tapes and worksheets, signed attestation forms by your lab director or qualified designee, as well as testing staff involved, copies of your result form submitted for grading or sent in electronically, graded results received with documentation of review by your laboratory director or qualified designee, and finally, documentation of corrective actions taken if there is an unsatisfactory or unsuccessful result. When you follow these guidelines, then you will truly be proficient in how you are handling proficiency testing. Thank you for your time.